Greetings and welcome to the arcade. This is episode 13, Replay FX Part 1. We're going on a road trip to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to check out the Replay FX Festival. Our featured star for this episode is Walter Day, founder of Twin Galaxies. Walter is going to review Atari's 1983 Star Wars Upright Arcade game. We are going to show you a very rare game called Varkon by Williams Electronics. Also, we have the Mario Brothers High Score Kings Steven Boyer and Steven Kleisath as Walter verifies their new world record. So let's get this rolling. Here we are at Replay FX and uh, this is uh, the legend Walter Day and Walter's going to talk about the 1983 Star Wars game which I love. So Walter, what do you think? Well, Star Wars was a groundbreaking game. It was amazing for people who wanted fast action games. Uh, it really enlivened the whole world of high score competition. It became like the, the meat and potatoes of contests all over the world. Star Wars was a big deal. And it uh, really brought the whole arcade competition scene back to life at the time that it came out in 1983. So I'm very honored to be here with an authentic Star Wars game, which actually is very, very valuable nowadays. In fact, people who collect games consider that like in their top five or ten games that they want to get. So it's well, not... I think we have a few Star Wars Oh my God. Hold on. Holy oh my God. smoke. See, that's what happens. That's why I stopped playing Star Wars. Every time I did, these guys would show up and, well, let's play. Okay. All right. Good standing by. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are at the Replay FX, and here is a very rare game by Williams. It's called Varkon. It's actually a stand-up arcade game that's actually a pinball machine. It's pretty impressive. So basically... It's got a mirror in it, a reverse, and it gives you a reverse look here, but it's a pure pinball. It's a very unique game, and I've never seen one of these before. So I thought I'd come here and kind of give you a little sneak peek of what it really looks like. Check this out. Basically, you can get your guy up in that far left spot. You can get like even a second play field. So we're gonna try to get to that second play field. Hold on here. Varkon was released in September of 1982. Williams only produced 90 units of this game. So it is very rare. The playfield sunk into the cabinet and tilted so that the playfield is viewed through a mirror very similar to Asteroids Deluxe and Omega Race. The game was designed by Tony Kramer. So today is Saturday. It's August 1st, 2015. And this is the monumental day for the whole world of playing Mario Brothers, which is a quite a big, you know, it's a big franchise, so it's a big phenomenon. So a lot of people will be very impressed when they see this put up on the Twin Galaxies website and also on YouTube. All right, my name's Stephen Boyer. I live in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, this is Stephen Kleisak. He lives in... Pompano Beach, Florida. And I, I guess I've met him about two years ago. And we've been playing for probably over a year, yeah, probably a year and a half. So it's taken a lot of practice. Okay, so... Which one of you is Mario and which one was Luigi? Um, I'm actually Mario. This is Luigi. Um, I would like to see more people play this game, especially with doubles. It is very, very difficult. I don't think people really realize just how difficult the game is. And, uh, you know, maybe that's why people don't play it. I'm not saying, you know, other games are not hard, but I've played a lot of other games, and this one is definitely a challenge. But if you get good enough, you could actually almost marathon it. 
But of course, you only have four men, so eventually you're going to get out. So this was a benchmark for us to do it. True teamwork, the essence of teamwork with this game. And, uh, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was exhausting, but it was well worth it. And it is a lot of fun. We urge people. We feel it's one of the greatest two-player classic games of all time. Right along with Joust, right along with Bubble Bobble. This is right there in the top three, we feel, of, uh, dub of doubles games that really people should rediscover and have fun with. And just for a little historical perspective, this game was one of the games of that era. It was so popular, millions of people played it, and millions of people vied for the world record. So essentially, these two guys put together a score that all those millions of people back during the Golden Age could not match. You know, the score counter rolls on this game, but they've recorded the whole thing, so they have that verifiable evidence that's necessary, okay? But Luigi got 1,146,580 points, and then the Mario got 370,800 points. It's so, a, it's, it's and point total in one score. Yeah, added together, it's 1,517,380 points. Verifiable because they recorded the entire game. this episode of Arcade Hollywood. I would like to thank our very special guests, Walter Day, Stephen Boyer, Stephen Kleisath, and the Star Wars gang from the 501st Garrison. Once again, I wanted to give a shout out to my very good friend Mike Miller and his band Origami. This episode featured the songs Permission Granted and Theme from Arcade Hollywood. You can check out the music of Mike Miller at origami.tumblr.com Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood we will visit my very good friend and fellow collector John W. from Arcade Dreams. We will be restoring a Galaga mini arcade game and we will debut the latest promo from Richie Knuckles' Kong Off 4 movie. This is a great time to check out this channel so please subscribe. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Please email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. Okay, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time, rock on! Rock on!